Hey guys, what's up? So today is 18th May 2017. So let's start with the current affairs MCQs. There are 10 MCQs. Uh, instructions are pretty clear. So let's get started. Question number one Consider the following statement for Samavesh. It is a program launched by the Niti Aayog to link together various uh, lead knowledge and research institutions. This is correct. It aims to achieve sustainable and more inclusive development in line with the sustainable development goals. So both these are correct. Answer is C, both one and two. So Samavesh is a program launched by Niti Aayog which replaced at S12 Planning Commission to link together various lead knowledge and research institutions to catalyze development processes, enhance institutional capacity development and enable a field level interface with the community for mutual enrichment. And as part of this, Niti Aayog seeks to deepen and extend its institutional capacity through networking and partnerships with rapid knowledge and research institutions so that they can create an ecosystem of evidence-based policy research. Question number two, consider the following statements for Deen Dayal Upadhyay Grameen Kaushalya Yojana. So, uh, it is a part of the National Rural Livelihood Mission. This is correct. It is focused only on rural youth between the ages of 15 and 35 years from poor families. So, both these statements are correct. So, answer here is C, both one and two. So, Ministry of Rural Development introduced Deen Dayal Upadhyay Grameen Kaushalya Yojana and it is a part of the National Rural Livelihood Mission tasked with the dual objectives of adding diversity to the incomes of rural poor families and cater to the career aspirations of rural youth. It is uniquely focused on rural youth between the age of 15 to 35 years and uh, they will support the other programs like Make in India, Digital India, Smart Cities, Startup India, Stand Up India campaign etc. India's first technological park for ornamental fisheries to start at. So answer there is B Chennai. So India's first aquatic rainbow technology park and ultra modern exclusive facility for ornamental fish equipped with multi-species hatchery and live feed culture units will become operational in Chennai in the next three months and it will fulfill a major requirement of the industry for mass production of high value aquarium fish. The facility is being developed by Fisheries College and Research Institute Poneri in Tamil Nadu and Tamil Nadu is the second largest exporter of ornamental fish after West Bengal. Question number four which of the following statement is correct for cage culture? It is used for water birds to study their characteristics. Uh, this is wrong. It is to be introduced in India for the first time in the state of West Bengal. This is correct. So answer here is B2 only. It is a method of basically deep sea pisciculture. Pisciculture means fishes growth and is soon going to be introduced in Bengal. The practice consists of culturing fish inside big floating cages in the middle of the sea. And this type of fish culture is successfully practiced in Norway, Thailand, Japan, Philippines. And the cages are covered with nets to prevent sea birds from feeding on the fish and they are tied down with bios to provide stability and this is also being encouraged to bring down the pressure on the lakes and, and hatcheries and culture in the open seas will have no environmental impact in international terminology the quartet includes which of the following organizations quartet basically refers to european uh, uh, union BRICS, and uh, european union uh, united states russia and united nations BRICS is not there so here answer is eu and un so answer is one and three so quartet is US, EU, Russia and UN. So answer here is A. Where is the Henderson Island recently in news located? So Henderson Island is located in South Pacific Ocean. And why was it in news? Because it has been classified as the most polluted place on the earth by Tasmania's Institute for Marine and Aquatic Studies. And the island contained like 37 million pieces of debris. And this island is a world heritage site. It lies between Chile and New Zealand. And it is one of the world's last two raised coral atolls. Uh, question number seven consider the following statements with regard to Middle East peace process conference It was held under ages of United Nations to bring peace to Middle East nations. This is wrong India did not participate in this conference to keep itself away from the sovereign interest of other countries. This is also wrong So answer here is D neither one nor two So Middle East peace process conference was held in Paris in January 2017 to reaffirm support for a just lasting and comprehensive resolution of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and they reaffirmed that a negotiated solution with the two states like Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace and security is the only way to achieve enduring peace. And 70 countries including Quartet, UNSC permanent members, Arab and European partners, G20 countries and other actors committed to peace participated in this process. And while Israel and, India, Israel and Palestine did not participate, India did participate. Question number 8. Consider the following for dinitrogen tetroxide. It is used as an oxidizer in rocket propellants. This is correct. It is liquid at room temperature. This is correct. There is no indigenous plant for its production in India. Yes, this is, uh, this is wrong. So answer here is B, 1 and 2. So Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has uh, approved a restructuring plan for Hindustan Organic Chemicals Limited, a loss-making and sick PSU 
under the department of chemicals and petrochemicals and the restructuring plans involves closing down the operations of all the non viable plants at rasa any unit of hocl except dinitrogen tetroxide plant which is to be transferred to isro on as is where is basis with about 20 acres of land and employees associated with the plant okay question number 9 cabinet recently approved a scheme shakti which of the following sector it will work for so shakti will work for power sector the cabinet approved signing of fuel supply ag agreement with letter of assurance holders of thermal power plants uh, fading away of the existing uh, with a scheme shakti that is a scheme for harnessing and allocating koila transparently in india koila means coal and last question for the day with regard to powers of supreme court which of the following is conferred by article 142 142 is basically enforcement of decrees or orders of supreme court so answer here is b let us see all the four articles important articles 143 deals with power of president to consult the supreme court 142 deals with enforcement of decrees or orders of supreme court 136 deals with special leave to appeal by the supreme court and article 32 deals with issues of writs with respect to violation of fundamental rights there are five writs that is habeas corpus certiorari prohibition uh, co warranto and mandamus can be issued so thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day